Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work, that's all. Some liquid courage for your... Yeah, whatever. I can't read it. I tried. Remember there's a chair there? It was painted. See, they see the dirt move, rotten soil, and nothing else scrolls. <laughs> again, again. My wife farted on that. About a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note in a gun, like what I found around this house. He then journeys through the various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually he winds up in a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious. Brought up on by a traumatic childhood memory, he killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Codwell. That's probably what's going on to me, but I don't know for sure. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around. Hey, ghost wife, play it for me. Creator's block. Hello, spooky wife. Spooky wife.
Spooky devil. Spooky hang baby. Stumbling all around, let me in, let me in, stumbling all around. Don't forget. Some newer glasses. I'm in another room. It's like there's somebody laying there. Pretty. September 15th. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. I mean, you could have just washed your hands to smear paint on the wall. surprised I can't touch that hmm. yeah I thought I had a lot of books Oof. don't worry there's picture books that's what I weed patience blind fool ignorant Third man. Ugly. Ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking pleb. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. <laughs> I would not want to look like that. <laughs> Maybe I do. Actually, I do kind of look like that, but that's just besides the point. It's all good. Another pipe. Why would you need so many pipes? They're for my drugs. Mm -hmm. 
Wee! Dee 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 dee. Wee! Huh? Bonk. Bonk. Push. Did I see a f hear a frog? <laughs> I'm having a good time. I got a key. So I think I was supposed to do that. Sweet. Daniel Fart Party's looking out for me today. Hello, I'd like to order a large pepperoni. Dear sir, I, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it's perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case throughout Lee, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as freakish grin or a nerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As for your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that she went through what she can't she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure it is a long adulterous process that will require all of your strength and support please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program sincerely robert richards md another fucking quack I mean, what this guy was wanting is understandable, but it's really not like. I mean, the poor woman went through some stuff and. You're not a very supportive husband. Wee! I feel bad for his wife. Yay! The phone's fixed. Okay, this is another one, yep. Hello? Phone? Phone? Hey, the phone's broke again! Hello? Yes, speaking. What? What fire? The one that made this phone ugly? Oh god, is she? Which hospital? I'm on my way!
Hi, mustache. Now I have to go through another door. I can't keep playing games. <laughs> Restless memories. Juicing up before a confrontation, I think. Luca! Huh? Oh, sweet! Ceiling table! Lapping hard, be quiet! Blah, 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 I'm eating all the rats. All around. Cool. Table right side up. I want the table upside down again. No. Not fair. I don't, I'm not as think as you drunk I am. Curtain's gone wild. Lane with the elevator. Dun, 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 dun. Bye bye. Did it. I get to figure out what that said. Abandon hope while you can. 
In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal and appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I would say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daw. Barrel. Door. Floor. Cares. That's where we peep our poopy things that nobody needs to know about. Let's see if I get locked in here. No? Brick and let's see what's in this one. Da 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 da. Brick. And then this one I'm guessing is a hallway. Yeah, see? Ha ha. I thought it was gonna be brick. I knew it was going on. Trippy. The more I drink paint, the more things I see. It's like it's on LSD. I can walk around and be all. That was actually fun as crap. Can I do it again? No? Don't. 
Use your five machines inside. You won't be able to see much. It'll be hard to hide. Not really with five machines inside. Hmm. Have a party in the basement. Ooh, cool. Cool. Things are getting pretty now. Unless covered in cloth. Your turn. Yay! I'm like looking to see if I can find anything. I think there should be something to find. No. Man, it's cool and all, but am I supposed to be finding something? I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. By piano, you were fun. I have a bone and it's probably from me. And I still can't see nothing in it. 